We are the most international stock exchange in the world and by a long shot. We've been doing this for well over 300 years. So that experience, that brand, the prestige uh, that comes with a listing with the London Stock Exchange operating at the heart of the world's capital market. Uh, London historically has been a crossroads uh, of uh, uh, people and companies from various corners of the world. It has very deep expertise, it has very deep uh, pools of capital to invest and it has very experienced market practitioners and advisors. I think it is absolutely the case that London's the leading financial centre in the world. I think it's something to do with time zone, something to do with language and something to do with the legal system. And therefore there's a huge pool of liquidity here and there's a very high legal and regulatory standard. London's markets are underpinned by our highly liquid secondary markets which ensure that companies that list here have continuous access to capital. London provides that international capital pool with a set of investors and analysts and frankly media who really understand international issues and really understand international companies. They put a lot of effort into understanding the business, they're sophisticated and if they uh, like the strategy that you are uh, furthering they will back you very strongly. I think that the listing on a stock exchange such as London comes with considerable duties as well as considerable opportunities. In terms of preparing for an IPO, you know, international companies will need to be thinking about their internal procedures and processes, making sure those are up to speed. And I think one needs to be ready to welcome the transparency and responsibility and the communication needs that go with that. What differentiates London from many of these other financial centers is reliance on the rule of law. The rules of the game here are the same for everyone. We listed in London in April last year, 2012. And it was a very proud day for all of us. The first company from Abu Dhabi being listed in London, FTSE 250 in ID. We also became truly international by uh, stepping outside of uh, Russia. Uh, and I think uh, the name recognition amongst international investors uh, has uh, definitely increased many fold. We've moved into a whole series of new markets, particularly into Latin America and also the Middle East. And the listing of Rentical and the London Stock Exchange has certainly helped to further those aspirations. The reason why London is home to so many international companies is because we have a range of markets from AIM right up to a premium listing on our main market, our high growth segment for fast growing companies, our specialist fund market, and we also have the order book for retail bonds. We have uh, an investor base which is uh, made up of some of the, possibly the best mining investors in the world. We look and act like a main board company, but we choose to be on AIM for the time being because it suits the development stage of the company. We found that AIM is by far and away the best public market for certainly high growth small companies. I think one shouldn't underestimate the prestige attached to being listed on a market such as the London Stock Exchange. And that prestige actually helps you with your customer acquisition. It also actually helps you with your staff. So it's not just doing acquisitions, it's actually hiring the right kind of employees at the right price and using stock as an incentive to bring these people on board. London has a good reputation for a good reason. It is a reputable market with reputable investors and reputable advisors. And by getting a London listing, you are effectively establishing yourself on the world stage. When a company comes to list here, they come in and press the button. Well, I see the result of many, many years of hard work. I see the fulfillment of an ambition. We've made it. We're here, and now the whole world is going to know about us.